A hot coin this is Ed, there are a lot of retro handhelds out there, but if you already own a Steam Deck, let me tell you, your Steam Deck outperforms those retro handhelds. Here I am not only talking about the performance side, but also the overall retro gaming experience. The D-pad, face button and joystick on the Steam Deck is just much better and more accurate. Furthermore, most retro games can be played with 3 watts TDP, offering around 7 to 8 hours of battery life on the deck. The only downside is the pocketability, but you get a massive 7 inch screen for the retro gaming. If pocketability isn't a concern for you, then the Steam Deck is a perfect retro gaming device. The setup process is pretty straightforward, most of those systems don't even need BIOS files. Another great feature when playing retro gaming on the Steam Deck is the auto save feature. The emulator will automatically save your game progress when you close the game. Next time when you load up the game, you can keep playing from the last save. You can also use the Steam OS quick resume feature on retro gaming. In this video, I will show you how to bring your childhood games onto your Steam Deck. Now let's move into the setup process. Let's put the Steam Deck into desktop mode first. If you haven't installed Emil Deck on your Steam Deck, please skip to this time on the screen to have Emil Deck installed first. But if you already have Emil Deck installed, just open up the Emil Deck from desktop. Then click on Manager Emulators. Next, click RetroArch, then click the Install button on this page, and wait for about 30 seconds. Then you can close Emil Deck. Then reopen it and go to Manager Emulators and RetroArch again. You should see the RetroArch has been installed. You can also verify this installation by going to the menu Games and look for RetroArch and click to open it up. It should open like this. This means you have successfully installed the RetroArch on your Steam Deck. Now you can close the RetroArch and move to Section 2. If you haven't installed Emil Deck, now it's time to do it. Let's put the Steam Deck into desktop mode first. Once you get in desktop mode, then open up the internet browser and search for Emil Deck. Click on the first search result, then we will head into the Emil Deck official website. From here, click the download button on the top right. Then click on the Steam OS button to download the Emil Deck and click OK on this pop-up message. The email deck will be downloaded right away. Then we can open this file in the folder. So here is our email deck installation file. Then double click on this file. And click execute on this window. And keep click on continue. Then the email deck installation page will load up. Once you get to this page, we will select custom mode here. This will give us more options to set up the email deck. Then click continue. On this page, we can either select the SD card or Steam Deck's internal storage to store our emulation game ROMs. You can pick either one based on your preference. Here I will use the SD card. I just prefer to have all my emulation games stored on the SD card. Then we can click Next. On this page, make sure the Steam Deck is selected, then click Next. This page shows all the emulators that can be installed through Emu Deck. Because this video is dedicated to the retro gaming emulation, so I will only turn on the RetroArc emulator here. Also, I suggest you to leave the emulation station on here. The emulation station is a great front end to manage your emulation games. I have made a dedicated video for emulation station on this channel. You can check it out if you like. Then we can click continue. On this page, I will only leave RetroArc and Steam Room Manager on. Also, I will keep the emulation station on. Make sure you always keep the Steam Room Manager on from this page, otherwise the email deck will have issues to detect game ROMs. Then click continue. Make sure you turn the auto save on from this page. This is very handy for playing retro games on the Steam Deck. Then click next. If you have retro achievement account, you can log in from here. This is optional. So here I will just skip this. For the next couple pages, you can select any one you like. It's based on your personal preference. Also, you can always change those settings inside the email deck after this installation. Then we can click Next. This is the summary page. It shows what will be installed onto your Steam Deck. Then click Finish. The email deck installation now starts. About 45 seconds later, you will get this page. 
just click add games here. Then on this page, just click skip for now. Then we are at the main interface of Email Deck. At this point, we have successfully installed Email Deck and RetroArch emulators onto your Steam Deck. If we close this window, then you will see the Email Deck icon on your desktop. From now on, you can click on this icon to open up your Email Deck. That's pretty much all for the step one. Now let's add BIOS files for the emulators. As I mentioned before, most retro gaming systems don't require BIOS files, only few of them do, such as Sega Saturn, Nintendo DS. The PlayStation Portable does not require BIOS files, but we need to install a call. There is no BIOS file setup required for the rest of the system. In this section, I will go through the BIOS setup for Sega Saturn, Nintendo DS and install call for the PSP. If you are not emulating those systems, then you can skip to step 3. So first, you need to get BIOS files for the Sega Saturn and the Nintendo DS. The BIOS files are copyrighted, so I'm not able to tell you where to get them. But I will show you the BIOS files that I am using in this video. I think you should figure it out pretty easily. Ok, so here are the Sega Saturn BIOS files, usually you should have 3 of them, one for each region. Right now I have them on my USB flash drive. The next thing I will do is copy them from my USB flash drive into my Steam Deck's SD card. You don't have to do exact the same way I am doing here. All you need to do is make sure to move them into the correct BIOS folder as I show at the bottom of this screen. If you selected internal storage for your emulation games, then make sure you copy the BIOS files into your internal storage. Here I will copy them into my Steam Deck's SD card, since I selected SD card for my emulation games when installing the Emu Deck. Ok, now we are done with Sega Saturn. Then I will go back to my USB flash drive again, and copy my Nintendo DS BIOS files into the same BIOS folder on my Steam Deck's SD card. So here are the Nintendo DS BIOS files I have here. You can use this as a reference. Then I will move them into my Steam Deck's SD card. That's all you need to do to set up the BIOS files. Now you can open up your email deck, and then go to BIOS Checker. To verify your BIOS files, it should see your BIOS files have been detected, otherwise you might have the wrong BIOS files. That's all for Sega Saturn and the Nintendo DS BIOS setup. Now let's look at how to install PSP Core so we can emulate PSP games on the deck. Let's go to Menu, then Games, look for RetroArch here, and click Open up the RetroArch. Next, go to the online updater, then click Core System Files Downloader. Inside this list, click on PPSSPP to install the core. After the installation, we can close the RetroArch. Now if you go to your BIOS folder, there is a new folder called PPSPP should show up here. This means you have successfully installed the PSP core. That's all for the step 2 section. Now we can add game ROM files into the Steam Deck. The game ROM files are copyrighted, so you are on your own to find them. It shouldn't be hard. You can always use your Steam Deck to download them. Just remember, your Steam Deck is a PC. It can get a lot of stuff done. Once you have the game ROM files, then we need to move them into the correct ROM folder for each system. Here I have made a table that shows the ROM folder's name for each gaming system on your Steam Deck. All you need to do is moving your game ROM files into the corresponding ROM folder. You can always use this table as your bible. I will show two examples here. Ok, the first one is NES game. My NES game ROMs are stored on my USB flash drive right now. I will copy them from my USB flash drive into my Steam Deck's SD card. You don't have to use USB stick. All you need is making sure the NES ROMs are moved into the Emulation ROMs NES folder. Now my NES ROMs has been moved into my NES ROM folder on my SD card. That's all for the NES game. 
Now the second example, I will copy Sega Saturn ROM from my USB stick into my Steam Deck SD card. So I copied all my ROMs first from my USB stick, then I will go to my Steam Deck SD card, Emulation folder, ROMs folder, then look for Saturn folder. Ok, here it is. Now just paste everything inside the Saturn folder. If you have Q and Bing ROM files for any emulation system, just like what I have here, we can use Emuldeck Compression 2 to make them into a single CHD file. The CHD file will have a smaller size, so it will save some space for you. It's also easier to manage a single file instead of multiple Q and Bing files. Here is how to use the Compression 2. Go to your Emuldeck, then click on Emuldeck Compressor. Click on Run Compression 2. Make sure you select Pick a file here. Then navigate to where your Q and Bing files are located. So here I will pick my Sega Saturn ROM folder. Then click OK. And keep clicking OK. Now the compressing process started. It will take a while. After the process is finished, it will show all files has been compressed. Then if we go back to the ROM folder, now we only have a single CHD file instead of multiple Q and Bing files. That's how we use the email deck compression too. Ok here I am not going to show copying every single system, but all you need is follow this table and make sure your ROMs are copied into the correct folder for each system. Also you should check out the email deck cheat sheet on this website and make sure your ROM format are supported by RetroArc. I already have this page linked under this video description. That's all for this section. After setting up the BIOS file and adding game ROMs, now finally it's time to add our games into the Steam Deck's gaming mode so we can play them just like a regular Steam game. Ok, to do this, just open up your email deck and then go to the Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop-up message. Then the first thing I suggest you to do here is click on Tango Passers and turn off everything here. Next, use this table I created to turn on each passers for each retro gaming system that you want to play. So here I am not going to show the process I was turning on each passers. After turning on the passers based on this table, then click preview button. And then click passers. Now all your emulation games will pop up on this window. From here we can change the game artwork by clicking on the left and the right arrow button here. Once you find the best artwork for your games, then click save to steam. Now all our emulation games are added into the gaming mode. Now if we switch back to the gaming mode and go to the library, all our emulation games will pop up under collection and no steam games. Now you can access all your emulation games from the gaming mode. The last thing I want to mention here is the hotkey that you can use with RetroArc. You can always check the hotkey inside Emule Deck, Manage Emulators. Under each emulator it shows the hotkey that can be used in the gaming mode. I think that's pretty much all for this one. 